Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Taurus. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below Taurus because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right Taurus? So uh, also I would like to ask for you Taurus if of course you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading or you just enjoy my vibe taurus uh, i'd really appreciate it for you to give this video a like and subscribe taurus because it does help out my channel cha channel channel a lot taurus and i always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me uh as well taurus i just would like to say before we get into my weekly general reading for you is that when it comes to my weekly readings for you taurus i believe that this is where you need to rely on your intuition because i'll speak in a specific way of an example but it could relate these cards could relate to a different situation for you also these cards are here just to give you some food for thoughts a perspective for you to consider but not making a choice in your life because it's your life to live not mine right not these tarot cards nobody's so with all that in mind taurus let's just start getting into your reading now i'm going to start with your of course how we do every reading now your objective card now this is the five of cups coming in for you taurus um just judging it off based with these other cards i'm looking for you taurus it seems to be like you guys are in this position of um transitioning dare i say uh for i don't know why i get into this habit whenever i don't say dare i say for like my normal conversation taurus i don't know why i do it for when i'm doing readings but um dare i say darling um some of you guys are going through some type of transition of like you're, it feels like you're getting closure uh taurus you're getting closure to a situation and it's almost i'm seeing this as like you releasing a weight now this didn't come this sense of closure didn't come without its hurt feelings right without its own bit of struggle of course right with this five of cups here there are some cups that are spilled right there are there is a situation that you're kind of like looking back on and uh you know maybe for some of you tauruses you're uh, going through this process of like uh, if you could do anything different right if you didn't if you know you're trying to uh just reflecting on the situation now i kind of see this just based off of the other cards right now taurus in a pretty good way um but just judging it off this other stuff i see you guys going through this and getting uh, healing from this but i do just want to note taurus that when you're you when you are in this energy you just want to make sure that while you're self-reflecting and just taking everything in that you're not internalizing things too much towards right um some situations some cycles and connections and situ just energies in general cycles have to come to an end the moment something starts there is a uh, cycle there is the the clock is ticking for when it's going to expire at some point whether it's today or whether it's in a hundred years right um, just in dramatics. And so you have to keep that in mind, Taurus. So when you are reflecting on these situations, make sure that you're maintaining um, this place of reflection for a sense of healing and not getting stuck into a spiral of like either guilt, Taurus, or even resentment. I'm not saying you guys are right now, you know, and this is me just speaking to you bestie to bestie right now, honey, Taurus. Um, uh, just, you know, every single day uh do check-ins with yourself Taurus. do check-ins with yourself and um make sure that you're feeling good right um you know just do one during the morning when you wake up honey doing one during the middle of the day and do one at the evening do those mental check-ins with yourself and i feel like that's the easiest way for you to hold yourself accountable so you don't get into those um you know like those depressive spirals right um or just like those uh you know just make sure that you're keeping your head afloat it can be you don't realize how much water piles into your boat your mental emotional boat until um it starts sinking right so make sure that you're keeping watch of like the water that's coming into your boat so uh taurus let's look at the clarifiers for your five of cups we have coming in here the two of wands for you we have the magician card for y'all and then we have the King of Swords for you. So Taurus, yeah, 
this is what I was talking about. The King of Swords coming in here is honing in on the message of uh, just give, yeah. I feel like this is just a really good week, Taurus, for you to just keep a really good stronghold on your mental self. Again, I'm not trying to like spook you out or anything, Taurus. Um, you know, I always just feel like awareness of uh, things being potentially uh, emotionally or mentally challenging um, just makes things a lot easier to take in um, or a lot easier to manage when you come prepared for it. And yeah, King of Swords, just, you know, just do those mental check-ins. Take some time each day, even, Taurus. Uh, I almost wanted to say, dare I say again, uh, take time each day to um, do something for yourself, to escape from everybody, not have anyone else around. I feel like it is important for you guys to have those period that period of just to yourself and reflecting and just healing um but have this be like a place of like planning for the future for you you know there it's kind of in, like i'm thinking about this Taurus, and uh um i don't have the video out yet but i actually wanted to do a video where i had the it titled as having an exit plan for us and what i mean by this is just like sitting in your emotions right but have a plan for how you're going to get out of it, right? Have a plan for, you know, use this time to make bigger plans for yourself, you know? I feel like this is just such a time towards for you to just like dig deep in with yourself and just uh, learn more about yourself, right? Um, I feel like this is such a weirdly vulnerable time for a lot of you Tauruses. I mean, I know that's kind of like out of pocket for me to say Taurus, right? Cause it's just like such a weird, um, thing to uh, just say in like a reading because there's no tarot cards so she's saying that but I don't know I just feel like some of you guys are feeling pretty vulnerable but it's when in your vulnerability Taurus that uh, you can uh, anyways um, magician card for your final clarifier for this uh, yeah this is more so because I feel like again with the magician card with the two of wands as well this is just like making big plans for yourself towards this week make big plans for yourself it seems like through this time of like healing and transitioning that you're going through some type of closure that you're experiencing uh, this time around Taurus um, it's really releasing a lot for you and so that it's because of that Taurus that I kind of get this sense that um after this week you're going to be like really motivated in going forward and doing something and I feel like the energy is really going to follow you in this favor so uh how do we want to continue this reading Taurus <sighs> We'll start with the four swords that I was talking about, right? Because this is what I was referencing of where it's just like, this is you and your feelings right now, Taurus, and you're, um, you know, it feels like you're processing something that, you know, something that initially hurt, maybe whether it was like today or whether it was like a year ago of something that you're reflecting on, something that you're just taking in, Taurus, you are in your feelings. Now, four swords is this time of, um, kind of think of it as like the hermit card. And as I like to think of it as like a lesser hermit card, but usually with the hermit card, um, it gives the implication that there's like taking things in perspective, whereas this one is more so emotional based, where it's like uh, you're having like those nights where Taurus, maybe right now you're just having those like late night binges of Netflix on series and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what's going on in y'all's lives right now, Taurus, but like, I don't, I hope this doesn't come off as like a heavy reading for you guys, because I feel like I see a lot of good cards for y'all, truly, and I see things really ramping up for you, but it just feels like this week, for a lot of you Tauruses, you guys need to, you guys are in just like this phase of um, healing, like really just like lifting a bunch of weight, um, it's interesting. So let's get some clarifiers, but yeah, I just, I'm becoming self-conscious of this Taurus, because I'm just like... I really am enjoying this reading, but I'm also very aware of just how um, weird this dynamic is. So um, anyways, towards the clarifiers that we have for your four swords is, now this is one of the very few times I'll ever mention a card being inverted, uh, Taurus, is for the five of wands, because the five of wands being upright is normally a card, oops, I just moved my camera, darling. Uh, <laughs> I think it's fine. I think I just centered myself more. Okay. Anyways, I'm sorry, Taurus. The Five of Wands normally is a card of um, conflict, right? You see these people fighting with these wands for some reason. Um, and so when it's inverted, 
And you can kind of presume that it, that means the opposite meaning, right? It feels like you're healing from some type of conflict. But I can't help but feel like it's not like involving other people. Uh, no, I'm, I'm like going off course. I was showing y'all the rest of your cards. So uh, we have that five of pentacles, or wands, I'm a mess, Taurus. Uh, we have this king of pentacles. We have the eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles? Yeah, eight of pentacles. And then we have the ten of cups for you. So yeah, I don't feel like, Taurus, this is anything relating to other people. Or what, even if it was, Taurus, like I don't feel like you're getting closure from people around you. Weird message, right? I, I can't help but feel like, like right now, it's just all inner stuff, right? I feel like, I'm, and I know it's such a cliche for tarot readers and especially me to say, right? But it feels like a lot of you guys are going through like some shadow work. And if you don't know what shadow work is, like I suggest you looking it up uh, towards, but yeah, I feel like you guys are just healing, self-reflecting on some, dare I say, just like a past, or say what dare I say, with like some type of past pain that's been just weighing on you for a long time now. Um, so yeah, because with this 10 of cups, and this eight of pentacles and truly the king of pentacles this is all letting me know of like what this conflict is that you're getting closure and healing about right so it's about ten of cups i always just say it's like your close-knit family circle like your close inner circle so dare I, dare i say again um Taurus, it's something around in dealing with like family or just like a matter like very it's a personal situation for you guys and with the king of pentacles it's revolving around the stability of some type right so probably the instability of some type of connection in your life or maybe you're able to even say just because with the ten of cups it's not just like if this is two of cups it would be like okay one specific situation but since there's ten cups here maybe there's just like a situation towards where it's just like you could probably find like figure out where it stems from from like maybe one singular issue but then you can kind of see how in many uh, cups in your life or relationships in your life close relationships in your life Taurus um, how that one like bad seed like affected so much else and I feel like you're learning about it like this kind of just like you're having an aha moment with yourself of being like oh this is why I acted this way this is what I what have you and I just see you getting closure on it um, Taurus so I really celebrate you for that right <laughs> Watch me be completely off the cusp because I know this is kind of like a specific message, like a pretty specific kind of narrative um, for a general reading. But yeah, I just give this sense. I don't even feel like I'm late. Like, yeah. Um, all right. So let's get into the Seven of Wands now for you, Taurus. Now, this is part of another, like, are you, all of your cards besides addressing that Ten of Cups? Um, Taurus is, is implying some type of just solo uh, energy, right? With this Seven of Wands, this is no different. Uh, this is all about, you know, kind of you. I like to see this as like the you against the world card sort of thing on um, like where it, it's not necessarily like the people around you you can't trust. It's just not right now at this time the people around you would be of um, help like help you assist you in your journey at this current state so let's get some uh clarifiers on that, right let's see how it is you're feeling taurus okay so the clarifiers we have going on here for you taurus is the uh and this is for your seven of wands remember of course uh is the nine of swords the page of cups and the Three of Cups. Hmm. Taurus. Are you thinking about... Um, it feels like you're thinking about transitioning even... Um, like, it's almost like through the, like this self-reflecting process, Taurus, and you just healing... Um, there's been like connections that you've been having because this is like the sleepless nights anxiety card tours it seems like with this three cups here it's almost like you and through like this healing closure process like having this weight being removed from you um taurus 
there's almost this sense of like wanting to begin something new um page of cups now we could just go into the narrative like optimistic where it's just like okay like deepening of uh things with your current stuff but i kind of see you after going through this healing process towards um this releasing process there's been like some connections that you've had some gut feelings about or that you've kind of known for a long time now that you with this three cups letting me know that you probably are looking to uh move on from because with, with this page of cups here this lets me know just like looking for something new so you know maybe these cards will make me a liar right let me see what these cards will say so i'm pull up some uh, extra clarifiers for that page of cups see if it's like a new person coming in or you you know let's see okay yeah i don't know why i'm having giving y'all this face it's good but um eight of discs following you we have the Eight of Cups, and then we have the Four of Wands. <sighs> Taurus, I kind of get this feeling that And I'm, more, I'm happy for you, and truly, like, I know it's, like, coming off as if I'm just, like, uh, but no, I'm truly, I'm happy for you, but with, especially with this Eight of Cups, right, the Eight of Cups is, like, going into bigger and better waters, like, it's such a clear point message, and just kind of truth, trying to figure out how I want to, like, go about saying it, but it's just, like, you kind of know that there's something better out there for you, because so, with this Eight of Cups here and Four of Wands, you've known, like, this is, like, usually Eight of Cups is, like, taking a chance, going to bigger and better waters, but you've known. Eight of Pentacles here, again, you've known about the situation, Taurus, and you're ready to move on. Um, it's a good thing overall, but I think I'm just more so, like, tapping into, like, understanding, like, the level of stress and anxiety that you have coming into this. Because it seems like this journey for you is going to be something really new for you, Taurus. It feels like even in this transition from that Eight of Cups, from this current situation to something new, probably is just super spooky. And, like, you know, you're kind of signing yourself up on some level, Taurus, of um, some drama, right and that's more so like where my head is at like it's good reading overall so far um taurus and even just with the rest of your cards they're extremely good um yeah i'm just like oh, okay so let's just get into continue on right we have the chariot card taurus so this is that fast forward movement that i was talking about when you start releasing that weight right with that eight of cups and you start transitioning so let's look at these clarifiers we have the Nine of Swords showing to me again, confirming, all right, <laughs> the anxiety, uh, temperance card, and then the Seven of Cups. So a decision is needing to be made, right? And this is where it's like you probably, again, you've had a sense of knowing for a while, Taurus, that you needed to move on from some specific situation that's in currently in your life. Because it's through that healing process of realizing how uh, one trauma has affected so many other facets of your life and relationships this seemingly like situation is no different and it's been weighing on you for a while and so you've been one been at this indecision being like oh if i make this choice then i can't really have this other person again right weighing it out emotions temperance it's been a long time coming but i see once you make this decision for yourself right because you got to release this anxiety that's when the fast forward movement happens with the chariot card uh Taurus so extremely good right you just have to be willing to pull the trigger and just be prepared to know what comes after but it's really good truly a lot of zodiac signs are like um in this transitional process of like moving on whether it's like in their physical environment or in the uh, their um emotional situation on something like a lot of signs are like transitioning towards it's really cool to see <coughs> So now let's get into your sun card, your final card. This is the best card in the deck, right? This is where your criteria is heading to. I don't know why I can't speak so good with y'all, Taurus. But um, yeah, I really do see just a lot of growth for you, Taurus. I know my solemn tone, uh, if that's even the proper word for uh, um, kind of given this implication that this is not a good reading. It's a good reading. I'm more so just kind of like 
you know, I'm like proud of my Tauruses, but you know, I just don't want them to be going through a whole bunch of stuff, right? But I know it's for your betterment, right? I know like this is something you planned. I know you guys, because you guys are going towards the sun, right? In that chariot, like you can't make a better story blind than that, right? I don't even have to try, but it's just like, I know the uh, struggles that y'all are going to be going, like, going through. It's crazy. <laughs> Ugh. All right. I say I know you get the struggles you're going to be going through, but it's just more so like I acknowledge like <sighs> the extremely like new and spooky journey that's ahead of you, right? Empress card coming in here. You're about to, there's a lot of character development on the way for you, Taurus, but it's good. Um, the Fool card, you just kind of have to release yourself, right, Taurus? You kind of have to just be one with the universe because the Empress card is the card of really just following the breadcrumbs of the universe, the spirit guides are trying to show you. This is just really being in tune with the earth and just like, you know, birthing, and the, giving birth to your dreams, right? Really. It's just an extremely nurturing card of just seeing your place in the universe. Such a, I know that's such a fluffy thing to say, but... And with the Fool, when you see your place in the universe, Taurus, you have the sense of release and just, you know, doing, letting go and letting God, just doing your best, right? Hey, the Pentacles continually following you. It's just like a place of learning. And you learning, realizing you need to get out of your comfort zone, Taurus, Knight of Pentacles. This is something you're choosing to do. So I don't know why I'm like stressing on it so much. I guess it's just kind of so cool to see because it's kind of like a watching a bird leave the nest. And it's just really awesome to see. It's really awesome, but it's really like, oh my God. It's inspiring truly for y'all. And I'm really excited for you guys, uh, Taurus. So if you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below. Definitely keep me updated on this journey, Taurus. Um, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Taurus, I do weekly zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they are not, darling, uh, I would love for you to love for you for darling just send them their zodiac sign video maybe they'll find a message for them <laughs> i love y'all taurus bye